Hi, welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Taurus. Welcome back, bulls. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, my love. I hope you've been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy-ass temple of yours, Taurus, as it take care of you, my loves. Welcome back. Have a seat, my loves. Come on in. Shout out to the Evolving Spirits. Shout out to the Soul Tribe. Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. I appreciate you. I thank you so much, Soul Tribe. If you would love to become a member of the Soul Tribe, please click that join link down below. It gives you exclusive discounts on your personal readings, your email questions, and your love live stream questions when I go live, bulls, okay? And welcome back to the ones that are new here. Thank you all as well for stopping by. All right, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on your way out, my loves. So first here, bulls, we're going to start with the heart chakra this week here, okay? We're going to focus in on your higher self here when it comes to your heart space here, the heart chakra, which is the color green here. We're going to see what your higher self wants to inform you when it comes to love, okay? When it comes to where is your heart space at right now? How do you feel? What needs to be known or made aware of here spiritually? And then definitely stick around, bulls. We're going to use the love romance angel deck and see what's going on in your love life. Finish up with a couple of tarot decks here and get you some clarification from your guardian angels and ancestors, okay? Source, guardian angels, ancestors of the highest light, please protect my space and aura as I channel the messages here today for the bulls. What's the message here for their higher selves? What do they need to know here, guardian angels? Whoa, thank you. All right. Let's see what we have here for you. We have fine balance, okay? I'm noticing all this color red here, okay? So this definitely tells me that we're needing to ground ourselves when it comes to our root chakra here, the color red here, okay? So focusing on trying to ground your energy, meaning that you may need to take some more time out to yourself here, Taurus, okay? Sit with yourself here, okay? Pay attention to your surroundings here. See what you are or gravitating to see where your energy is gravitating to the most okay so we have the number two here which is talks about balancing your masculine your feminine energy balancing your higher self and your lower self okay this is very important for you at this time here i feel like some of you all are trying to manifest here something here to come towards you or balancing just you know balancing your energies here okay because we have different options here that you have here okay so some of y'all are trying to balance when it comes to your finances your career some of y'all try to balance uh balance here excuse me when it comes to your family here we have a baby here okay we have a ring here we have a rose all right balancing your time here balancing your family here balancing your significant other here this could be in regards to your spouse your husband your wife here okay just balancing you know just being with yourself here okay and enjoying what you love and what's your passion here with this rose here okay so there's a lot going on here i feel like here in the month of july here for you Taurus. here okay so your spirit your higher self here okay coming from your heart space here you're needing to find balance okay there could be a lot you feel like is going on right now okay so definitely find time to just sit with yourself make sure that you're getting plenty of rest here because i feel like whatever's coming towards you here in the future you're going to need to find balance here for as well you may have someone coming in here okay a partnership coming in here with the ring here you may about to start a family here okay or you may needing to balance your family here or you're about to come in and have a blended family here okay it's going to be different for everyone here some of y'all are off time here okay some of y'all may feel like you're running off time here or you're trying to balance your time okay so your guardian angels and your ancestors here want you to find balance okay so that's your homework here for the month of july or even for the week here coming up is to find balance okay wow beautiful thank you guardian angels ancestors for those messages now we're going to dive a little deeper here towards into your love life we're going to see what's coming towards you in regards to love here for the month of july here okay guardian angels what do we have here for my sexy ass bulls okay and definitely if they're resonated for you don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell all right some of y'all might be seeing the number four a lot or the number four 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 in a pattern there 
know that you're being spiritually protected and you're being spiritually guided here. So there may be some changes here that are coming up here as well here. And your guardian angels and ancestors want you to know that they have your back. They want you to know that they're here with you. So if you're seeing the number four or a pattern of the number four a lot, that's why, my loves, okay? They want to help you find balance here. And they're trying to give you a message here on how to find balance or what you're needing to do, okay? So source angels, ancestors, what's going on in the bulls love life? What's coming towards the bulls here in the month of July? What do we have here for the bulls? What do they need to know here for this week? What do they need to know here for the next week here, guardian angels? Oh, okay. You don't want me to take that? Okay. Oh, 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 okay. All right, bulls. Well, let's talk about it. We got a lot jumped out here, loves. Okay, let's see. Well, all right. We have playfulness here. Okay, we have to recapture romance. Allow your time. I'm hmm, Yeah, some of y'all may feel like you're running off of time or you may feel like you're running out of time here, okay? Because I'm literally trying to say enter on the card here and I'm getting channeled out time. So time may be very significant for someone. You may feel like, again, that you're running out of time or that you're needing to find time to balance yourself. Something is very significant about time, okay? But again, we have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine okay so some of y'all are meeting someone here okay and you're needing to get into that playfulness or that youthful or that childhood energy here okay some of y'all this person could be a fire sign here this person could be an aries here or a sagittarius or a leo here okay and now we have deception here wow someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship okay some of y'all, you're just now recognizing this, okay? Some of y'all, this is why you're feeling like this particular person or time is running out for me. I don't have time to play with this person. I don't have time for them to not to be honest with me. I just don't have time for foolishness here, okay? This is what I'm picking up with this deception energy here. So this could be someone that you were in a relationship here with. This could be someone from your past here, okay? That you're finding out now that they have been wearing a fake, a fake mask or a false mask this whole entire time here, okay? And then we have, wow, new love is here, honey. And this is why a new person has steered your romantic feelings here. So you have someone new here coming in the picture, okay, Taurus? And it's time for you to, wow. I was literally gonna say that. And then here is the card here. Wow, spirit is on one today. We have released your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Now, remind you, all these cards jumped out, as you and I just seen here on camera, honey, okay? I don't edit my videos or none of that, okay? So what comes out is meant to come out, all right? And it's even coming into alignment with here. It's crazy because we have playfulness, deception, release your ex and then new love at the end okay do you not see this alignment here that the vine here is trying to put in order for you this is literally an order here going in coordination here for you Taurus. okay very significant i am definitely paying attention to the synchronicities here i don't know if you are but i definitely am okay and definitely for whoever is this is what you have coming towards you here okay rather if you met this new person here or not it's someone in here that is coming in for you okay so this is why you are definitely needing to release your ex here okay get rid of this person honey they don't mean you no good they've been wearing this false mask this whole time here honey okay and some of y'all have already recognized this you have already separated yourself from this particular person here and you're now going to be receiving this new offer that's coming in here for you because there's someone new here yes i can't make this up we have someone from your past is returning to your life here okay this is someone that you could have met here in the past and you guys just didn't take it to the next level here you didn't get that opportunity to move forward with this particular person this has been someone you met as you were growing up here all right as you were a teenager or throughout high school college right things of that sort Okay, some of y'all, this could have been someone that you met in your past life. And as you evolve during this lifetime, now you two are going to cross paths here again here, okay? With this being in the clouds here as well here, okay? This is definitely going to be someone that's going to be totally different, totally opposite from you. It's how you'll be able to tell here just because of this energy here that I am picking up here, okay? Wow, this card obviously wanted to come out while I'm trying to get out the tarot deck here. So let's see what this is. Whoa, we have the official person here 
okay? Some of y'all, this person could be someone that you are aware of here, okay? This, for me, is like a police officer, someone that has authority here, okay? This could be in regards to the military, the law enforcement here, okay? But this is a particular person back in the modern days here from this card here. They will come to your door to issue you some type of court order, some type of uh, documents here when it comes to, you know, the government issuing things of that sort okay so this could be someone that you are aware of that is a masculine energy here this could be someone that you know maybe that's a police officer or they work for law enforcement here or they work in the system here okay and others of you all this could be in regards to a situation here that may involve the law enforcement here on some type of level here okay there was a reason why that car wanted to jump out so that could be i could be talking to one person and you just needed to hear this for confirmation here okay but this is definitely what wanted to come out 22 okay which breaks down to the number four here once again here okay so this is definitely a message here from spirit from your guardian angels and ancestors here there could definitely be a situation there could be an altercation here there could be something that go down here where maybe the um law enforcement has had to involve this situation here okay or this could be someone that may be going to court going to jail something where they're getting issued a court order here or getting issued some documents here due to uh some legal authority type of situation here okay so that may be resonating for someone you may have to go to court all right in regards to releasing this ex here or maybe this could be even your ex here having to go to court or being issued some type of documents here in regards to a situation here that could have been an altercation there could have been some type of domestic violence here okay just take that where that resonates like i said that could be literally for one person there but that card definitely wanted to come out so i know that there is no accident or no coincidence that this is honey me okay so there you go for who that message was for okay so wow let's move forward here towards let's now dive a little deeper here let's pull out the tarot deck and see what's going on in tarot land okay honey let's see what's beneath the surface here when it comes to your love life garden angels ancestors what do we have for taurus placements here sun moon rising venus north and south node what do we have for the bulls tell me more about this new person here honey that's what i want to know about here honey but we know the tarot card gonna go where it need to go honey all right so let's see here i'm also going to use my raw tarot deck here so we can see how this new person that's coming in how they're going to feel towards you or what's the energy from them okay before we close out your reading here today okay loves so what's going on in tarot land for the bulls what else do they need to know here regarding angels ancestors of the highest light what do we have here for the bulls what okay what's up with all these cards flying all over my damn table towards what y'all got going on honey huh What's going on? I have the ratch. Yes, yeah, like my grandmother say, ratch around the corner. Ratch around there and grab me that damn piece of paper, okay? I literally have to ratch around my table and get this off the floor, all right? We have the Knight of Pentacles coming in here. Wow. Some of y'all, this person could be an earth sign here like yourself, okay? This could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo coming towards you. But somebody is definitely about to come towards you, okay? And now this is an offer here, okay? This is a solid offer here. You see this big-ass coin right here, honey? This ain't coming in to no Knight of Cups or no Knight of Wands here. So there is definitely someone that's wanting to come in and give you this offer here, give you this opportunity here, okay? This could be something as far as that's confirmation there on my device, okay? This could be in regard to a business offer here a career offer here a job offer here okay this is definitely something in regards to something financially wise or something that's tangible right something that you can touch something that you can establish something that you can build here okay so you may begin some type of communication here through email through phone call here in regards to this offer or this opportunity here okay so be mindful of that here in the month of july here or coming up this week here all right so let's see what else going angels ancestors and the way that that card flew out over the table it was a fast quick energy now i know that this is the most slowest card here in the deck the knight of pentacles is the most slowest moving knight in the deck because he wants to make sure to cross his eyes 
I'm sorry, dot his I's and cross his T's, right? So for that card to jump out like that, either someone is going to be receiving this offer or this opportunity here unexpectedly here, or someone is kind of upset the fact that you're moving on or you're moving forward here and you're getting this opportunity to knock it over my fucking table like this. So I don't know. You place it where it fit towards, okay? But there's your options in regards to that. But you're definitely going to be being receiving an opportunity here coming up this week or in this month of July here before this month ends here. I believe we have about two weeks left. Okay, so some of y'all are going to be receiving this offer, this opportunity here. You may get an increase in your income. This could be a promotion here. Okay, something again that's going to be tangible that you will be able to touch here, honey. Okay, I know that's good news to y'all ears. Okay, all right. Yeah, buddy, we got the Queen of Swords here. Some of y'all, this person may be an air sign here. We have Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra here. Like I said, somebody is upset here. The fact that could be a feminine energy here for some of you all as well. Someone is upset or kind of feeling some type of way here because of the opportunity that you may have coming in here okay someone is not happy because of you know how you're just fucking living your life and who gives a fuck okay i'm so sick of these energies coming through these readings like feeling like they gotta uh have two cents and some sh shit fuck you okay this ain't got shit to do with you let me i talk for you Taurus. fuck them we don't have time for this okay this is the energy that i feel like you're gonna be in when this particular person come towards you because of what you got going on right this could even be you okay this is your energy earth energy here and this is an air sign here so some of y'all this could literally be this x here okay that you need to fucking release here obviously because they still on bullshit over here okay and some of y'all you're in this queen of swords energy because you're having to stand up to whoever this person is so i feel like whoever this x heals here this is someone that you may have had to have altercation here with or you may have to have some you know disagreements here some conflicts arguments back and forth with each other here and this is why the authorities here had to get involved here okay again this could be for a small group of you all here but there is definitely somewhere in here that's just not happy this could be this ex here that you released here that you are no longer talking to here or engage your energy here with and they're upset here this could be an ex from a long fucking time ago i'm getting here as well for some of you all okay and some of y'all this is just from someone that you just recently separated yourself here from but this person is you know still in their feelings here obviously because you are still moving moving forward you're still doing what a fucking Taurus a bull do okay and you're not budging you're sitting still like a bull do and you're continuing on with life and this person may be feeling some type of way about this and like i said because they know you have new energies coming in here you have opportunities coming in here for you and i feel like this person just don't like the fact that you're moving on here okay but they already should knew that they was on fuckery shit from the beginning so what you thought okay what you thought was gonna be your fucking outcome or your results here all right moving forward here one more card here for the bulls we ain't got time for this tours i'm not gonna let the whole reading be about them okay i still want to dive into this new person's energy we ain't got time for that one more card here guarding angels for the bull game thank you and i just love how they pop out mm -hmm. yeah we got pisces energy here some of y'all this person could be a pisces here it's because you got a new perspective on your life you got a new perspective on things that you want to do for yourself here okay you're moving fucking forward here now you have experienced the good and the bad here basically okay so now you can now be spiritually more consciousness and aware of the decisions here that you make in life because of different type of situations that you have experienced here okay and because you got this new perspective here now you're choosing to move forward here and this ex is not happy about this you have even gotten a perspective on this relationship or this marriage for some of you all and you're now ready to move forward and release this particular person and they don't like that they don't like the fact that you are evolving they don't like the fact that you're not giving up okay some of y'all this person is mad because you're not giving up and you're moving forward okay they may thought that maybe by you losing something or maybe by you not gaining what it is that you want that that will make things worse for you and they could be in this low frequency vibration like they are no you kept moving forward you you didn't give up and now you're getting everything that you deserve here okay and that's a new love on top of it with options over here in the background mm-hmm get the spilling get the spinning that damn wheel towards and get what the fuck you want okay 
All right, because we ain't got time for these low bottom feeders. Yeah, we have the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck here. This card talks about past energy as well, being in your childhood energy. Someone is about to really come in and make you really happy, Taurus, okay? Really put you in this energy of swinging on them damn swings and being happy and being back in that puppy love childhood energy here. There is definitely someone that's going to be returning here from the past here, okay? That's what that talks about as well. These are basically like the same cards here with someone returning from your past and then we have the six of cups that's past energy as well that's also past life energy as well okay so you definitely have someone coming in here that's going to be more you know on your frequency and vibration and going to be very like-minded like you where you don't have to worry about this person doing shit behind your back and all that bullshit okay all right so let's again before we close out your reading here i'm going to use the raw tarot deck here and then we'll get you some word advice here from your guardian angels and ancestors here Okay, source, angels, ancestors, what we have for this new energy, allow me to tap into this new energy that's coming towards Taurus here or the person that Taurus now is engaging here with. What do they need to know about this particular energy? How do they feel? What do they need to know here, guardian angels, ancestors of the highest light? What do we have here for my sexy ass bulls? Be weird. What do we have? Yes, let's have this talk. I'm done. Wow, so this person is ready to have this talk with you. This person here is ready to, you know, have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation here, okay? So I really feel like this person has experienced what all they needed to experience here with you. And now they're ready to, you know, for some of you all, this new person here is ready to take it to the next level here with you, okay? They like what they see. They love your energy here. They enjoy being around you, I feel like, here. And they're ready to take this to the next level, okay? And others of you all, this could be this ex trying to come back here because they want to have a second chance here with you okay they want to have this talk here like i said some of y'all might have even blocked this person here okay and this person now wants to come back and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you all of a sudden when you were trying to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation with them back in the past right it's funny how that works and then we have let them hate on our love yes honey this is what this is about and this is why i felt like you were showing up in this queen of swords or this king of swords energy here because this new person who has made you happy here are going to make you happy here for the ones that haven't met this person or the ones that have already, okay? This new person is like, fuck them. Let this ex and whoever all these other people over here is, let them hate on us. Fuck them, okay? This is where this person is at with it, okay? And they know that these people are hating on you, okay? Some of y'all, these people or this person here, or these could be family members as well, is just hating on you because where you're choosing to go and who you're choosing to be with or be around and they're not liking that but who gives a damn okay let them hate all right even your boo said that here let them hate honey let them hate on your love honey okay we got yes you are my peace of mind yes this is how this person feels they feel like now they've found someone that could be their peace of mind someone that they can go home to and don't have to worry about all this bullshit and this chaos here and i really feel like you feel the same way i feel like when you enter this person's presence here or when you do enter this person's presence here for the one that haven't met this person yet, you're going to be like, wow, I feel so at peace. I feel so at home when I'm around this person. It's like I can just leave all my problems or my thoughts at the fucking door. And it's like when you walk into their home or even when they walk into your home or just when you meet up with each other, you're like, wow. It's like the feeling like, you know, like everything just fucking stops around you and you're like, wow. Oh my God, like this is really the one. Like this is someone who like this, like, wow, now they're telling me about time again. So this is what this feels like for some of you all because now I'm hearing time again. So it feels like when you are around this person, time just stops. Wow, Taurus, that's fucking deep. So being around this person, like nothing else around this person is this and what they're showing me a picture in my head is it's like you know how people is walking around you and then when you two meet like in the middle here is literally what they're showing me here and it's like when you two meet up with each other everybody around them stops so it's like you know how you could be looking like in new york or a lot of traffic people walking in the streets and shit like that and then when you two meet up with each other everybody around you two just stops and they freeze or they're frozen and you two are like hugging on each other, kissing on just like a literally like a fucking movie part in a movie when you're watching a movie. Some of y'all may have watched a movie like this before. Some of y'all that may be ringing a bell for you or that may be a confirmation for you. Okay, you may have watched a movie where it was a scene like that. Okay, but that's literally what the fuck they're showing me in my head. 
Wow, Taurus, this is beautiful. This new person here is going to be someone that, you know, death is going to be on a more spiritual connection here, I feel, as well with you here. Okay, so like your like your boo said, honey, let them hate on y'all. Don't worry about these other energies and what your family members or your friends or whoever got to say what they got to fucking say. Because they thought that you was going to be down or they thought that you was going to be in a place that, you know, that you were going to be hurt or whatever. But no spirit the universe is picking you right up and putting you right where you need to be i feel like this ex needed to be released these family members needed to be released this place or this whatever this is that you've been going through it needed to be released so you can make room and make space and i say this shit all the time even to my family members like you have to get rid of these type of situations or energies around you so better things can come in for you towards but if you're lingering on to things that you know don't resonate with your spirit and your higher self no more that's where that tarot card come in and it will force this shit to happen so that you can get things that you know that you need to do okay universe is speeding the fucking process up now i keep getting time so again like i said time is going to be very significant okay look even last card here we got let's go to our favorite spot here okay this person definitely likes to meet up with you this is someone that wants to meet up with you want to go to the favorite spot so you and this new person may have a favorite spot now here that you like here together or you will have a favorite spot here others of you all it could be your ex trying to ask you let's go let's meet up at our favorite spot and you like hell no okay it's gonna be different for everyone okay so let's finish up here let's get you some word advice here from your guardian angels and your ancestors source angels and so this is what we have here. Again, Debbie, if the reading has resonated, loves, don't forget to like, subscribe, okay? Hit the notification bell so that way you're notified from when your next reading comes out here. All right? I am available for personal readings, my loves. If you would love to book a personal reading with me, all that information is down below in the description box, my loves. Guardian Angels, Ancestors, what word advice here can Taurus take away from this reading here today? What word of advice here regarding angels, ancestors of the highest light? What do we have here for the bulls? What do they need to know? What do they need to know regarding angels, ancestors of the highest light? Whoa. All right. We have, yes, if you believe, Taurus. Okay, so do you believe? Do you believe that you can have anything that you want? Do you believe that whatever you manifest, it will show up here in the 3D realm? Do you believe that you can have the partner you want? Do you believe that you can have the career or job you want? Do you believe you can be happy? Okay, do you believe that you can have a peace of mind? Because yes, Spirit, you're going to Andrew saying, if you believe, then yes, you can have everything it is that you want or desire. But do you believe in yourself? Do you believe that this can happen here? Some of y'all may have even given up because of how toxic this person or the energy that you have been around that you finally now have been released from here. Now you have to ask yourself because sometimes you couldn't even see that because you may have been around so such negative energy. This could be even people at your job, people where you just go every day or you have to deal with every day was so negative. So, you know, you were so bottled up in that energy. You weren't able to look outside of you or think outside the box type of situation, but your garden angels is asking you, okay, now that all of that is gone, now that you released your ex here, now that you release the people, places, and situations out of your life here, now do you believe? Do you believe? Okay, that's the main meat and potatoes here, okay? Wow, so definitely sit on that as well. Ask yourself that, okay? All right, wow, Taurus, beautiful reading here once again, my loves. Definitely, again, if the reading has resonated with your spirit and your higher self, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, my loves. If, again, if you would love, love, love to book a reading with me in regards to this reading here today or any type of reading with me, my loves, all that information is down below in the description box, my loves. And if you have enjoyed the energies, click that join link down below and join the soul tribe, my loves, okay? I do provide daily readings, daily pre or uh, weekly pre recorded readings, and daily readings as well for the Soul Tribe. We always have a private chat going on. You can chit chat with me privately as well over there. We have topics and things that we learn every week to help ourselves evolve as a spiritual being as well. All right, so definitely click that join link down below if you love the energies here today. All right, so we can evolve together, honey. Yes, Taurus, and congratulations, okay? Balance yourself, find ways to ground your energy as well, and get ready for what's to come, okay? Because you deserve it, Taurus. I love you. Bye-bye.